Now there's another useful tool for studying relations. We can draw graphs of the relations that we've looked at so far. Great, I rather like graphs as they make it easy to see the values in the table. Here we have the points from the first relation plotted on a set of axes. It's quite clear that for each value in the domain, that means each value on the x-axis, there's only one corresponding y-value. Good observation, which becomes even clearer when I draw a line through those points. A straight line graph, we know all about those. I'm sure you do, and because there is only one value from the domain that corresponds to each value in the range, this is called a one-to-one -one relation or function. Here we have the points from the second relation plotted on a set of axes. It's pretty obvious that for each value in the domain plotted on the x-axis, there is only one y-value that corresponds, except the value of y is the same for all the x-values. Another straight line graph, but this is a horizontal line. Do we call this a constant function? Yes, we do, which also helps us to explain why this is called a many-to-one relational function. All the values in the domain are re correspond to the same value in the range. Here we have a set of points from the third relation plotted on a set of axes. Looks to me that for each value in the domain plotted on the x-axis, there is only one y-value that corresponds, so this must be a function. That's correct, which is again confirmed when I draw a line through those points. Hmm, a cubic function. What does the graph of that fourth relation look like, the one that didn't seem to be a function? Well, here we have the points from the fourth relation plotted on a set of axes. That doesn't look right to me. See, for some values in the domain, for example, x equals negative 5, there is only one y value that corresponds. But for some other values in the domain, like x equals negative 3, there are two values that correspond, negative 4 and 4. Wait till I draw the graph of the relation. Ha! A circle. 